through to a parking lot. And oh, I wonder, we should get a sense of where the rail branch emerges over here somewhere. Ah, yeah, there's an old barrier for it. And there's the rails. Ah, that's that way. So once again, it vanishes into woods. Oh, mildly hazardous. Following the old rails. Yeah, I suppose you wouldn't want to even risk traveling at three miles an hour on any of this. Up, oh, abandoned tire. A welter of the many invasives we've brought to this fair continent over the ages. It seems like we're passing behind some sort of DPW facilities. Fairly elaborate scrub growth. It's urban bushwhacking. With these thorny things, you do these kind of moonwalk steps to get on top of them. There's remnants of the old drain swale. Now we skirt a bit more thorny stuff. Ah, and there it seems like we have clearer feel. Hi. Now, I wonder how long it is before we hit the uh, street in Fresh Pond. Now we have some abandoned dis construction debris from some contractor who figured out a way to just dump it over the back of the fence, it looks like. Imagine any other way this stuff got here. Wow, it's some heavy going. I don't think a machete is needed. Let's see. What? And some grapevines. Wow, this is dense. I'm sort of figuring it out. Oh, it's clearing up. More abandoned contractor slop.
pretty overgrown. Pretty dense. I already ran into a fleeing rabbit. Probably Eastern Cottontail. Let's see. Maybe I'll <laughs> quit this for a bit and see if I can trace it along the edge. So this is where it emerges. There's probably about a half mile to three quarters of a mile of dense underbrush. And this is where it heads towards the lake and ultimately to the Watertown Arsenal. So this is what we'll explore next. <laughs> 